Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be covering Arc Light Drakes. Uh, same as it ever was, same as it ever was, Drakes is still a thing since Guilds of Ravnica kind of came out, and we've got all the pieces to making it a good deck, and this is no different than War of the Spark standards. There's a couple of additions in there that we've added, um, but overall, very similar deck. Uh, some different pieces, uh, really focusing heavily on the Arc Light Phoenixes as opposed to the, the Drake Heavies that you might see. I mean, they're still there, um, but it's mostly intent to... Uh, pitch those into the graveyard, cast them out as fast as possible, and do as much damage as possible. So let's kind of go into the deck and take a look at what we're looking at. So uh, you're going to find in a uh, in a Drake's deck that the, the main thing that you're trying to do is trying to dump as many things into the graveyard as possible as far as spells and abilities to allow those Drakes to get gigantic. So of course you're going to throw four ops, which basically reduces the size of your deck by four cards. Uh, three shocks. Chart, of course, to help you get to those Drakes and the Arc Lakes that you need. Uh, radical idea, drawing more cards. Uh, Lava Coils are there to uh, take care of some of those bigger creatures that might potentially kill your Drakes. You don't want those. So Lava Lava Coils are there to take those out. Uh, Tormenting Voice, the most often reason you're going to cast this is to be able to pitch one of your Arc Light Phoenixes into the graveyard so that you don't have to cast the mass or pay the mana cost when you're casting it out of your graveyard. Discover Dispersal, again, another card to help you filter through your deck and find the stuff that you need. Gr Goblin Electromancer helps all of the spells that we've covered so far cost one colorless less. Uh, fantastic little card. Uh, Beacon Bolt's there just because fun. Why not? You sometimes find those creatures that are toughness higher than four and Lava Coil won't handle it. Beacon Bolt's there to help you out. And then we start getting into the Drakes. Um, there are two Drakes, uh, the Enigma variety. Uh, when this comes in, of course, it's got a power and toughness equal number of instants and sorceries in your graveyard. I'm sure you guys know this card already. Um, the additions from War of the Spark, one of them is Shalehi uh, Sublime Artificer. Uh, five loyalty for a three casting cost uh, um, planeswalker pretty darn good uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell which is a bunch of these uh, you create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact token which just helps uh, for blockers so that you can continue to, to mash face with your drakes um, she does have a minus two uh, target of artifact you, you control becomes a copy of another artifact uh, creature control until end of turn um, you don't actually use her ability she's there mostly for her stagnant ability flat out uh, Arc Light Phoenixes, as we've covered before, they have Flying in Haste at the beginning of your combat turn. If you've cast three or more instants or sorceries in this turn, return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. Super annoying trying to get rid of this thing. And of course, we've got four Crackling Drakes, uh, same as the Enigma Drake, except you draw a card whenever it comes into play. Mana Base is pretty straightforward. Five Islands, five Mountains, one Rottery Grave, because we do have that Dispersal. Sometimes Dispersal comes, this, I, I know I mentioned only Discovery, but sometimes the Dispersal comes in handy on occasion. So you need a little bit of black in the deck to be able to get away with it so water gives there kind of help you out on that one steam vents and sulfur falls and of course the dragon skull summit for the same reason that the watery grave is there uh, to add that little splash of black just in case dispersal comes into play so that's the deck let's go play some games with it This is easily one of my favorite uh, archetypes. Oh, like and subscribe if you are, you are so inclined. I, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, does help out the channel. I do really appreciate the guys that are are clicking that like button and uh, dropping comments down below, kind of give me ideas of where I misplayed and where I screwed up and where my deck designs are the best. Um, so I do appreciate that. It is super helpful and I do appreciate uh, all of you. Um, this has been a fantastic experience. I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I started this channel about eight months ago and uh, I've enjoyed every minute. I mean, it's all thanks to you guys, so thank you. All right, Curry. Curry will be the first opponent. Uh, pretty typical hand. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and keep this. Uh, and we're gonna toss that down and say hello. Save the shock for the event of something they put down that we don't like early. Nope, works for me. I think we're gonna go discover on this one, see what we can pull out. Uh, we really need mana is really what we're looking for in this and Sulfur Falls, perfect. I like that tormenting voice too, so I'll keep that there. I always seem to get the Sulfur Falls, they always seem to come out where I need them. Um, we're going to go next. At the end of his turn, we're going to opt. Unless something crazy comes out. What are we running here? This looks like Gates. My warm-up game I just played against another person who's still running Gates. I'm actually really surprised Gates is still around. 
Uh, we're going to opt. Charter course. Uh, I think I'm going to pitch that. I need the mana. There we go. Perfect. Uh, my sneaking suspicion is that he is going to have a Gates of Blaze in there. And he does have three gates. He's going to grab another. Yep, he's going for the Gates of Blaze to make sure that he can actually take that thing out. So against this matchup, I'm going to be more inclined to maybe hold a Drake or two in my hand because he is going to board wipe with Gates of Blaze. Um, ideally, we'd like to be able to get the old um, Arc Light Phoenix out. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little scary. I'm going to pay the two life for this one. Be uh, no, because I can't really... Even with the two shocks... No, I can do it. Two shocks and the lava coil? Yeah, no, I am going to do that. Um, because we can exile this thing and make it not a problem. And not to mention the fact it's going to make our, our Drake all the bigger. And we get to hit him for five. So if he didn't put Gates of Blaze in there, now we're in a bit of a... Because the thing, of course, with those Colossus is they just keep coming back every time he drops a, a gate. And now with its exiled, that's not coming back. <laughs> Granted, it was a huge waste of spells, but why not? The Ram. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and just do the damage now. Uh, we are going to chart a course to pull two more cards out. Drop the steam vents. Uh, I'm willing to pay two for that. Oh, what do I want to go with? I want to hold on to these two right now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cast the phoenix. If he gates a blaze, I'm going to have more than enough cards to be able to pull it back. And we're looking at basically lethal on board if he doesn't do something. So to tap that to draw a card. I think we may have him. I think we may have him here. He's going to do his seven damage. But I'm going to chart a course and no thank you. You can have that. I think we've got the win here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and chart a course. Uh, yep, I was going to say, and that was, the, <laughs> that was it right there. He recognized it right away. I was going to have enough to kill him on that turn. So good victory to Arclight Drakes. Ooh, what did we get? What did we get? In Bolus's Clutches. Love, love the artwork on that. Let's go play a couple more games with Arclight Drakes. This is easy. Like, I own most of this deck. The Arclight Phoenix has started getting a little bit crazy. Um, having them put in the uh, the Challenger deck really helped bring the price down on those. So I only own, in paper, two Arclights. So I just tend to backfill with Enigma Drakes myself. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Uh, we'll drop the blue and say hello. Hmm, I have my concerns. Are we looking at a mirror match? Are we looking at mono blue? Uh, yeah, no, I'll take the mountain. I need it. Uh, we shall drop that. I'm going to go with the Electromancer. And call it. Ooh, that's a tough reaver. Very nice. Um, let's go go with drawing cards. Drawing cards is good. Uh, I will take the shock. Because I can take out both of his creatures right now. Uh, let's go shock here. Let's go shock there. Oh, I don't have the red. Boo! We'll go radical idea. Cool. Having Beacon, Beacon Bolt on hand is going to be nice, too, because if he gets in a mass creature that's actually relatively big... Uh-huh. See, that's where this is going. Uh, 
I'm going to hold... Yeah, I am going to hold the shock. So how to beat that Dreadhorde invasion is to keep killing the amass creature that comes out so that it never reaches critical mass where it's getting uh, the lifelink on it. So we're going to go ahead and shock that because every time that does it, it's doing damage to him. Then we're going to opt. We need one of our drakes. Uh, maybe I'll keep discover. That's what we needed. We definitely needed a drink. Uh, we're going to go ahead and discover even more. Uh, lava coil. Perfect. So even though how big his little critter is going to get, the amass creature, it's just going to keep picking life away from him and it's going to die. Uh, I'm probably going to lava coil it next turn just because of Nyx's cruelty. No! That was cruel. I'm not happy about that. Um, oof. Oof, which way to go? Uh, first and foremost, we need to get that off the board. Should have cast her first. That's probably a rookie mistake right there. And I'm going to wait. Take my time here. And again, he's just knocking himself down in life. So that's what he thinks he's going to use to protect the amassed creature. I'm here to tell him that that's not going to happen. So this is going to do how much? How many instants do we have in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. That's got to go away. Can you take care of that for me? Thanks. Um, just going to keep punching him in the face. Interesting. I think he realizes he's probably dead next turn. Because I can just, yeah, I was going to say, I can just beacon bolt right out of the graveyard and, and end it right here. That's two in a row for Arc Light Drates. All right, let's go one more. One more. One more round with Arc Light Drake, shall we? such a good deck so much fun to play especially on paper it's an oodle it's oodles of fun to play in paper you're in and out of your graveyard the whole time it's a ton of fun there we go now we 72 no way no way no way 72 well now that's a pickle I have all the blue I could ever want and no red I have two ways to get rid. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm probably going to regret that decision. Especially if I'm playing modern red burn. <laughs> That'll teach me. The upside is with the drakes. Like, their toughness is enough that red burn has issues dealing with it. Oh boy, would I love a mountain right now. Sure. Sulfur Falls works. Sulfur Falls works. And a steam vent. Look at that. Um, I'm going to wait. Because he's either going to get... My suspicion he's going to get like a... 
You want the steam can out of the way if he casts the steam can. Light up the stage, which means he doesn't have the steam can. He's going to cast that, which is where Lava Claw is coming to play later. Draw a card. Cool. Um, let's go island. Let's give him problems with Drake. So now he needs a minimum of two spells to kill it. He's just going straight to the face. That's probably the right answer. He's gonna be fresh out of fresh out of turn here. All right. Um, I need the red for steam vents. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna pay the life. That's so dumb. And I've got to hold back. We're getting close. Yeah, unfortunately this deck's so fast. And that's gonna do it right there. He's got me. I don't know if anybody hasn't lost a mono red burn before. <laughs> that's how fast it goes. Uh, I probably didn't do myself any favors holding onto all blue with no red, but Alright, we're gonna try to go out and win. One more. This video is short. <laughs> I'd prefer to go a little bit longer video than that. So we'll go with one more game. I don't know where you are in the world, but it is uh, Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. So if you are one of my one third of my viewers who are all in the U.S., happy Memorial Day. Find a veteran. Tell them thank you. Or her. Him or her. Chrome Mox. Just dawned on me what I just said. I was like, no, there's... You can do both. I am going to keep that. I'll go Steam Vents on the first turn. Is this good old-fashioned vampires? Oh, this could be fun. Mono black vampires, even? Or is this mono black aggro? This could be straight up mono black aggro. One of my favorite decks to play. What's he gonna do? He's more concerned about the damage. Yeah, I understand. He's willing to lose it. I get it. Um, let's go steam vents, enters taps. We're going to go ahead and attack so that we can trigger chart of course. And then we're going to end the turn. We'll opt on his turn and drop the Drake, which should put, oh, he's got white. So he means he's got access to Mortify. So this is not just mono. This is just straight up. This is straight up vampires. I respect that. Take that. So I need to make him question his thought process. No, I will hold. So Vampire Lieutenant has a, a shock waiting for him on the next turn. Probably drop the other Electromancer. Kind of pointless. Well, he's gonna get the he's gonna get the trigger. It's not that pointless. We can enter that tap. We are shocking the crap out of that lieutenant. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and discover. Oh, take the island drop. I'm okay with that. And the other Electromancer. No, this is a very aggro-oriented deck. So let's see what he's got going on. A whole bunch of little vampires. Works for me. He's done a pretty good job of mowing me down, though. I think I might go with Shalee now. And then just start casting spells. Because that'll start giving me able to, abilities to block his 1-1s. One and not really care what happened to them. He's going to go for the Drake. He thinks that's going to help. Does force me into a position to cast the other Drake right away. Hold back in Chalet for a turn. <laughs> Get the other Drake while we're at it. These two twos are basically just sitting there saying, Come on, come on, vampires, we got you. Radiant Destiny. Choosing vampires. I can still kill most of them. Interesting choice. I was going to say, he pulled it back. He pulled it back, decided not to do it. Uh, so you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. Sure, he's going to gain some life off this. So let's go with the other arc like or the other Drake. Um we're gonna drop radical idea. We're gonna hold. Slowly but surely we will get him in the next two turns if I can just survive long enough. The Vanguard's going to be interesting because he'll be coming in. He'll be swinging in at 5 2. So. Let's start hitting them up. Let's see what we can get. Thank you. <laughs> or get more. One or the other. Yeah, no, I'll just radical idea and drop that. Oh, I could have totally discarded the Phoenix. Two more creatures in play to really make this worth it. Legion Lieutenant. Definitely cool. He's going to kill my little servos. I'm okay with it. They're there to die. They're there to keep me alive. A lava coil would be amazing right now. Sure. Congratulations, you killed a servo. Okie dokie. Uh, 
I am gonna wait one more turn. Yeah, more vampires. What I need is I need my lava coil to kill that legion lieutenant. It's definitely skewing things. Interesting choices. He's trying to flip Legion's landing. It's going to cost him some life to do it, though. Uh, I'm willing to sacrifice that. He's going to have to pay the four life to keep the Vanguard alive. goes. Oh, anything but a land would have been nice. I'm trying to pull cards that I need. A lava coil finally shows up. Continuing to cast Legion's Landing. He's just getting the free vampires out of this now. He's got enough over there now that it's getting kind of scary. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Like, I have enough in the air to kill him. But he's going to swing in, and he's going to gain more life. Yeah, as I say, he's got, a, he's got enough if he swings now, he could probably do it. Yeah, make sure. Are you sure about that? Yeah, now you're starting to pull back. Now you're starting to go, wait a minute. Okay, so he's agreed to do that. So we're going to block that there. 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 We're going to block that one there. Yeah, he's just getting way ahead of us now. So we've been waiting to do this for a couple of turns now. Here's for drawing us a good card. A shock would be amazing. Steam Vents, a radical idea. I'll take a radical idea, thank you. I 
I think I just unlocked this. I know how to stop you. Hmm. Make him suffer ten damage just for fun. That's the part that I wasn't missing was the servos could be used to do that. That's the part to this I was missing. So I'm sure his thought process is if he doesn't attack, he's not going to have enough life to survive the next turn. So he's got to attack to survive to build up the life. But I'm going to hit him with like 40 next turn. Here we go. Geniuses as genius does. Draw two cards. Let's see how high we can go. He should have attacked that turn. He really should have. Because he's going to take 44 damage. And now he's going to rope me out. <laughs> it's okay, brother. I'll wait. I'll wait. It's okay. If you're going to do that, though, just quit. <laughs> if you're going to rope me, that's... I, I don't get it. Do not get it. We'll wait. We will wait for it. There you go. There you go. Burn his time out, sure. He thought he had me. I bet you he thought he had me. I can guarantee you he thought he had me. Because the part that he's missing is that I'm going to catch Lee again and hit him again with another one. That's just poor sportsmanship, my friend. I recognize that you're upset that you lost. I'm sorry. You have a good deck. I respect it. I do. But you cannot stand against the power of the Drakes. Yeah, this is just, this is flat out, this is just poor sportsmanship at this point. This is him. I can't believe I lost. I'm going to rope out until I die. Or he's flipping the table at home. One or the other. <laughs> like he flipped his whole desk over. Something along those lines. Uh, so we're going to cast her again. And we're going to do one of the ones that haven't come into play here. And we're going to do a copy of this. Some lessons for you all. Drop that. We're going to opt. Let's see what else we can get. No, let's get another spell. Let's see how bad this can go. No, I guess that's it. Sure, let's cast that again. Maybe we'll get something else here. Nope, just more land. Oh, well, is what it is. Oh, look, all the arc likes came. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> this is why I play Magic. <laughs> this kind of stuff right there. Holy cow. What a game. A lot of fun. He had me. He really had me on the ropes. He had that game. 
His mistake was he should have attacked the previous turn and he would have beaten me. It would have been amazing. Hackerbit. Great artwork, by the way. Um, so anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the video. This is Arclight Drakes. Uh, have a ton of fun with this. And obviously, if I'm smiling, I'm happy. I enjoyed this deck. So uh, like, subscribe. It always does help out the channel. We, I really do appreciate it. Um, and if you are so inclined, there is a Patreon as well. That is patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga. And until next video, guys, we shall see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga and thank you.